Hello everyone, so I'm Tanzuna and uh, and I hope that I will not disappoint the group by already stating that I don't have data at hand. However, uh, I would argue that on top of being a paradise for empiricists, especially taxonomists, Madagascar can also inspire theoretical work. So as a Malagasy paper, uh, as a Malagasy person, the, the Green Island story was somehow indoctrinated. So my original motivation to mutate from mathematician to theoretical ecologist was to, to help predict how much forest we'll be losing. Uh, yet reading the literatures about, about the future, it kind of got me obsessed about what actually happened in the past. And so after working with pileecologists on temperate forest, I, I started to, I, I saw the benefits of using uh, mathematical models to answer paleo questions. So my initial idea about reconstructing the past was just to pick a, a mechanistic vegetation model and plug historical data about climate or disturbance, uh, including deforestation. Uh, but of course, that on, uh, that idea only exposed my ignorance. So until today, I'm I'm not sure if the if the data that I thought of exists. And although after reading some literature, uh, the data is quite heterogeneous. Heterogeneous. Uh, the time span, the resolution, the regions. Uh, are, are kind of very diversified. So for for a theoretical person like me, it was just impossible to pick one or to use one that would let me generalize the results. However, another big issue is that I did not find a clean model that investigates that the role of the, the effect of two disturbances at the same time. So in another word, the theory is actually not there. And I was both surprised and excited so that I can go full fledged on a more theoretical model. And so we build a simple model that would allow to simulate three major vegetation types. So we have the forest here, fire and maintained and grazing maintained grassland. And, and I'm doing a lot of simplifications here, so, so bear with me. As I use the a simple a classical model called competi competition colonization trade-off that incorporates competitive hierarchy so that without disturbance forest would outcompete grassland fire maintain grassland would outcompete grazing maintain grassland um, and then I modify the model to include disturbances. Uh, you don't really need to care about the, the equations here, but the main point is that the parameters f and g kind of allows the inferior competitor to be outcompeted. Um, uh, and then the other modification I did is is to to allow mortality m here to vary with precipitations and so this model this very simple model would actually allow you to play with the parameters to explore what kind of outcomes we can have and this was done on purpose because of the lack of uh, the uncertainties about those parameters in, in, in real system and so what does the theory say actually it's actually complicated so even with such a simple model the model displayed a very a quite complex dynamic and I, I don't have time to show them here but the four dimension parameter space with climate fire grazing and deforestation yield a kind of non-trivial dynamics however here is a simple and a bit more concrete result so if we combine the, the precipitation niche that we have here where forest has high mortality at low precipitation and, and and the grazing mint and grassland actually have high mortality for high precipitation the fire mint and grassland here has intermediate um, tolerance here and then when you combine that with a, a reconstructed precipitation for the last 8,000 years and this was taken from Lee et al uh, from the Rodriguez Island which seems to be the, the cleanest um, data that, that I, I could find um, and then the shaded area here is just to, to show essentially uh, to a light dry period. So we get a, the following time series. If we plug those into the model, we get the following time series. 
when we start with 60% forest here and about 10% of fire maintained grassland, we find that with climate only, without anthropogenic influence, no deforestation nor increase in fire regime, the proportion of grazing maintained, uh, I'm sorry, the proportion of fire maintained grassland gradually increased through time. Um, and we don't really claim that this happened, it's just that it's a theoretical possibility. Uh, so what does the data tell? Uh, the major issue, again, is we were not able to synthesize existing data, nor parameterize the model to make inference about the past. Uh, I would argue, though, that theoretical work can guide empirical work in laying out what to expect and, and what to measure. Thank you.